Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today I am finally bringing you my long overdue favorites of 2017. I know this video is really pretty late, so I apologize for that, but I did still want to put it up, so I hope you guys still want to see it. Um, I don't really have like a rhyme or reason of what order I'm going to go in. I'm just going to kind of like go by category. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. My one and only hair product that I'm mentioning this year is this guy right here. It's called Kinky Moves Curl Defining Detangler by the brand Not Your Mother's. I seriously don't think I could get through a day without this stuff. Like my hair you can see is super, super curly, super, super thick. This is my natural hair. And this is pretty much the only product I ever use, unless it's like dry shampoo or something, but I just kind of like use whatever for that. But I love this stuff, like it's almost empty, and I just got it like two months ago, maybe. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to repurchase this. It's inexpensive, I think it's like six bucks. So if you have thick hair that is curly, that needs to tangled, check this stuff out because it's really great. I don't really care for the smell, really. It smells like grapes. So I'm not too keen on that, but other than that, I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and talk setting sprays. I only have three to show you, which is probably excessive for setting sprays. But the first one is the Hard Candy, and this is the Glow Sheer Envy Spray. Um, I don't really know how like illuminating this is. It's supposed to give you a glow, but it's 12-hour long wear and hydration. I feel like it is hydrating. Here's the spritz on it. It's a good mister in my opinion. Um, what I use this mostly for though is to like wet my brushes. I like using this for that because it's really inexpensive and it really does like pack on a punch for um, like metallic shadows or shadows that you just want to like amp up a little bit. That's what I love using this for. I do use it as a setting spray too but mainly for that reasoning. The next one is by Project Beauty. It's the Spray Set Go. Looks like this. I have put a good dent in this setting spray. Uh, I really, really like this stuff. It makes my makeup last forever. And the only thing I don't like is the packaging. Like, it keeps breaking. I don't know if I can get it out. There we go. Like, this thing is supposed to stay on here. And it keeps, like, getting stuck in the lid. But that's all right. It's just a packaging issue. But it's still a great setting spray. And my favorite setting spray also has a packaging issue which is getting on my nerves and that is the cover effects illuminating setting spray I did use this today and let's see if it'll work okay it's working now but like every now and then this will get stuck and you have to like push it so hard down <laughs> to get it to like spritz but yeah that's what I'm wearing today I do feel like it gives a little bit of a luminosity not like oh moving the camera not like a ton okay having issues there we go. <laughs> Not like a ton of luminosity, but I do feel like it does give some, so I do really like that. Setting powder. The one and only setting powder that I've been using pretty much all year is the Bye Bye Pores Pressed by It Cosmetics. This is a little sample size guy, and the one thing I don't like about this, it is shattered. I don't know if that's just like a packaging issue, or if it, um, the product sucks, <laughs> but... I think it's just the packaging because the packaging is kind of terrible. It's just a little sample. But as you can tell, like this whole chunk is gone because I've used it so much. Like it's not because it broke. It's because I've used it that much. I really love this stuff. I am wearing it today. I feel like it like mattifies your face without making it look like dry, if that makes sense. Like it just sets everything in place, but it still looks like your skin. It doesn't look like just like crusty madness. <laughs> so I really like it for that reason. Um, let's go primers. Primer whoop, that I'm wearing today, one of the two that I'm wearing today, is by e.l.f. This is the Poreless Face Primer. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last year, but I repurchased this and repurchased this and repurchased this. I love this stuff. I swear by this stuff. Um, I only use it right through here. I didn't mean to flip you guys off, sorry. I only use it right through here because that's where I get really large, large pores. I do have dry skin, but I also have large pores, so that's a great combination. But I love this stuff for that. And then most of the primers I have are pore primers because I hate my pores. But this one is by Wish, and this is the Botanical Primer. I haven't had this very long, but I do really like it. It's very similar to the 
e.l.f. one, but a lot more expensive. I'm not going to lie, I don't think this is worth the price. I think it's almost like $40. Not for this, this is a sample size. But I'm pretty sure this is like almost $40 for, I want to say, like an ounce or two ounces. And this one by e.l.f. is $6. I don't know how much is in here, but save your money by this one. I do really like this though. Really good primer. And I also use it right here for pores. Um, another pore primer. I have two more. This one is by Hard Candy. It's the Primer Perfecting by Sheer Envy. Wait, what? No. It's by Hard Candy. It's the Sheer Envy Primer Perfecting. It looks like this. It's just a little baby guy. When I first get primers, I like to get like little sample sizes just because primers are something that like you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. So I don't want to just like jump into a full size. So I do love little baby travel size primers. Travel. I don't know where that accent came from. But yeah, so this one's really good too. I still just use it in the T-zone right there. And I it's very similar to the e.l.f. one. This one is very, very similar to the e.l.f. one. Which both are very similar to this one, which is also a little sample guy. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Love this. This is probably my favorite primer. I do like it a little more than the e.l.f. one, but the e.l.f. one is seriously like a great dupe for it. So save your money and get that one. But I do love this one. Like He's my favorite. I still love him. And one more primer. This is one that I pair. I wear this primer every day, but I still only have a little baby size. <laughs> and I wear it with all of those other primers. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. I do have it on today, paired with the e.l.f. one. I love this. I wear it every single day. I do put this all over the face because I have very dry skin and this gives just like a little bit of hydration. Not like a ton. It's definitely not going to replace the moisturizer, but it does give a little bit and it gives like a healthy looking glow underneath your skin. So I really, really, really love this. Okay. Concealers. I have two to show you. Neither of these are my favorite concealer. My favorite concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and I have spent an entire year without it. I really, 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 really need to repurchase one, but I've been trying to use these two up because I do really like these ones too, but they're still not my favorite, so I had to mention that. I have these two. This one is the Born This Way by Too Faced in the shade Very Fair, and this one is, of course, Tarte Shape Tape uh, in the shade Fair. Uh, I'm wearing Tarte Shape Tape today. I do also really like this one too, but this one is more of like a lighter coverage and like for, this This is the one I wear when I don't wear any other makeup. If I just wear concealer and powder, I will reach for this one, but on days where I want like a full face, I reach for this one. They're both really good. This one obviously has a, a lot more coverage, which I'm sure you guys know all about Tarte Shape Tape because I'm pretty sure every single person on YouTube who does beauty or even wears makeup probably put this in their 2017 favorite. So I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but you guys know Tarte Shape Tape. But this one I feel like is really good too. I feel like this one's kind of underrated, the Born This Way, because I don't feel like a lot of people talk about it because Short Tape <laughs> outdid it so well. But I do really like this one. You should check out both, but Urban Day is still better in my opinion. And foundations. I have three foundations. They're actually all drugstore foundations. I don't really have any high-end foundations, I don't think. I don't think so. I have the Too Faced um, Born This Way one, which is my favorite foundation, but it was not my color, so I need to get any one of those also. Uh, first one, which I'm wearing today, is the e.l.f. I think Flawless Finish Foundation. Looks like this. This is in the shade Porcelain, but I'm pretty sure they renamed it now. It's the lightest shade, whatever shade that is. And I just love this. It gives your skin like a, like it's not dewy, but it's not matte. It's like a satin finish or like a, a natural finish. Like that's what I'm wearing right now. So I feel like it's a natural finish. It's kind of weird though, because it does like the opposite of oxidizing. Like looking at this right here, it looks darker than my skin and putting it on, it looks darker than my skin. But once you get it like blended in, it just kind of like lightens up which I find very weird, but I also really like it. But yeah, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation, even more than the Too Faced one, which I also really like. But this one is great, six bucks, amazing. Next one is by Sonia, nope. <laughs> this is Koki, my other one is Milani. Um, this is the Koki Cosmetics HD Foundation in the shade 10C. 
I do really like this one. I don't like it as much as the e.l.f. one, but it's a good option. I do feel like this one is a little bit drying. It's um, It says it's a mid-coverage, but I definitely think it's full coverage, but or buildable full, full coverage. Like It goes on probably medium coverage, but you can definitely build it up. Uh, it's a really good color match. They have a lot of color options, I think. I think. That could be a lie. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but it is a little bit drying. Like, it does emphasize some of the pores right here. I have to wear a pore primer with it. But when I do, I really like it. And then the last one is the Milani Conceal Imperfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Oh, also, I should have mentioned at the beginning, but I didn't, that <laughs> um, some of these products aren't from 2017, much like this one, but they're products that I've loved throughout 2017. Some of them I've loved longer, like the e.l.f. foundation I have loved forever, but it's still what I reach for most in 2017. That's what this video is for me. It's not just like products that came out in 2017. I do have quite a few products that came out in 2017 that I will talk about, but not all of them came out in 2017. They're just products that I reached for, like this one. Uh, this is in the shade 00A Porcelain, which is the lightest shade. Um, it's very hard for me to find foundations, honestly, at the drugstore because I'm so fair that I have to always go for the lightest shade and then even sometimes it's a little too dark. Um, this one is a good match, so are the other two, but yeah, I do really like this. I don't really think it's two-in-one concealer, like I still use concealer for sure, but I guess you could probably get away with it because it is a very, very full coverage foundation. It lasts all day. I don't like get any creasing with this or the other two. And yeah, I really, really like it. I feel like I just talked forever about those three foundations. Let's move on to more face products. We'll talk contour because I have one contour that I use and that is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour. I'm not gonna talk too much about this because it's been in probably several favorites, but yeah, I use these two shades which are uh, lucid and sombre. This is the only contour I've ever used in my life, except for I tried a wet and wild one, I think. But yeah, that's what I keep going back to. I <laughs> love it so much that I just don't want to try other products, which I really need to. But yeah, it's great. It's what I'm wearing today. Obviously, it's like not too dark, but you can also build it up. I do use the lightest shades though, so yeah. Bronzer! I have two bronzers to talk about. First one, I'm not going to spend too much time on because, again, it's one of those products I'm sure everyone and their mother is talking about. And that is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I am wearing this today. I love this stuff. The smell is amazing. The only downfall I have is the packaging. Like, it's broken and it has been for a long time. It just doesn't click together anymore. So, yeah, that's kind of a downfall, but honestly, not that big of a deal because it's still closed so it's still sanitary but yeah I put quite a big divot in there if you can tell I am probably gonna have to get a new one soon because this one's getting pretty old but it still smells amazing so yeah it's a very this is the light one by the way they have a light one and then like a normal shade one and then I think they're coming out with a darker one or they already did but this is the only one I've tried because I am so fair skinned but I do kind of want to try the other one just because I want to see how dark it is. Like the, the natural one, whatever it's called. But yeah. Favorite bronzer of all time. A, another one that is great that I recently discovered this year is by Sonia Kashik. And it is a Knockout Beauty KO. I'm pretty sure this was limited edition, so I don't think you can get it anymore. But it's called Golden Gloves. I love the packaging. I'm pretty sure... This was for something, like, or not animal, like, women abuse or something. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was for some good cause like that. It's really pretty. I love the packaging. The mirror says you are beautiful right there, and this is what the bronzer looks like. It looks like I haven't even touched that because the packaging, or the packaging. Oh, why can't I talk today? Because the embossment is still, like, so there, but it's so pretty. It's, like... A very glowy bronzer, which I'm not usually crazy about, but for some reason I really like this one. So, if you can still find this, check it out, but I don't think that you're going to be able to. So, sorry about it. I won't talk about it too much more. Okay, blushes. The first blush that I'm going to talk about is this set, which is by Lorac and Beauty and the Beast. Um, I have a couple blush palettes, but I don't really reach for them. But I reach for this one quite a bit. 
The only thing, there's a lot of fallout. Like, even just opening that, you saw me go, because there's a lot of fallout. But I do really like the shade down here if I want, like, a deeper blush. And I like this one. And this one, I don't really care for this one too much. It's pretty, but it's more of a highlight. But it's just, like, it's too dark for me. It's okay for, like, an eyeshadow, but for a highlight, it's too dark for me. So I don't really reach for that one. But the other three in here... I do love and I always I put so many claw marks in this palette so many but yeah I really like this it was limited edition this year but I do really like it I keep saying I do really like it I really like this obviously I really like it because it's my yearly favorites but yeah this was a great blush palette single blushes this is by Milani this is the powder brush in the shade romantic rose looks like this it's very cute packaging it's a very natural looking blush and that's what i like i don't really i just stabbed this with my nail too cute i keep doing that i have like really sharp nails i really need to fix that but um yeah i like more natural blushes i don't really like really really intense blush so something like this is great it's very pretty um though i have two complaints one, it doesn't open all the way, which I don't really know why that bothers me, but I like it. I want this to, like, go all the way back. That's just, like, a pet peeve of mine. I don't know why, but it bothers me so much. And the smell. It straight up smells like crayons. I hate the smell of this, but I love the way it looks. I love the packaging. Super cute. Love it. Next one is Pixie by Petra. And this is hashtag Pixie Pretty on it. It's in the shade Beach Rose. It's a fresh face blush. It's really pretty. This is, again, another natural looking blush, which all of the ones I'm going to talk about are, but it's just really pretty. I cannot find this one online anywhere, though. Like, I'm going to try to link all this stuff if I can, but this one, I can't find it anywhere. So, yeah, if you guys know where you can get this, put it in the comments down below in case anyone's interested because I can't find it. <laughs> but it is really pretty, and it lasts forever. Last two blushes are my favorite blushes. These are Tarte Amazonian Clay. This one's in the shade Party, which is what I'm wearing. And this one's in the shade Feisty, which I wore in, I think, my last video. So if you go check that out, you'll be able to see it. They look like this. This one, Party, is a more natural blush, obviously. And then this one's a deeper blush. This is something that I'd reach for on days where I want to look like like snow kissed is that what I would say like that look where you want like really flushed cheeks I like to make that be like the statement of my makeup look if I use that one I think it'd be really pretty I haven't actually tried it but I want to if you did like just really rosy cheeks with that and then just like fake freckles I think that'd be really cute I kind of want to try it out okay moving on to highlighters the first one is what I'm wearing and this is technically not a highlighter this is a single eyeshadow by the brand Carez it's just in the shade white yeah 10 white looks like that I can't open it it's super cute though looks like this it's just like a really really icy highlighty color which I really like because I am so fair-skinned and it doesn't like pull silver or pink or gold or any of that it's just like a straight-up white highlight so I really like that it lasts all day it is pretty on the eyes too but I mainly wear it as a highlight right there on my nose too um, next one which has been probably my most go-to highlight all year. And that is the Pixie and Aspen Ovard in the shade London Luster. Like, you can see I have put a dent in this thing. This is so beautiful. If you check out, like, any of my videos pretty much, this is probably what I was wearing. Oh, my goodness. I am putting claw marks in everything. Ugh. Look at that. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. So, this is another, like, icy highlight. It does pull... A little bit gold but not too bad it's just still so beautiful I need to talk faster because we're already at like 20 minutes and I'm only on highlights um, the next are the dose of colors and Katie and Desi collaboration they look like this um, if you don't know which you probably don't but I am like a huge 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 supporter of like other youtubers I love buying their stuff if I like the youtuber obviously and so every time I can I like to buy the products. So I did buy both of these. This is Fuego and this is Mirame. I think Mirame I like better. Yeah. This is the pinkier one. 
This one, I'm not going to lie, is too dark for my skin tone, so I don't really wear this one too often, but I love, love, love the formulation. I love this one. This is really pretty on the eyes. I do wear that on the eyes every now and then. They're so pretty. I really, really love both of them, and I both I love both of Katie and Desi. Words, I cannot speak. I really like Katie's channel and Desi's channel, so of course I'm going to support them. And yeah, we're getting close. Next one, this is the La Rock Pirates of the Caribbean book. This does have blushes in it too, but I mainly use the highlights. I love this one. It's very icy. If you can't tell, I like icy highlights. Um, I do like the blushes in here too. I don't really care for this one because it has a lot of glitter in it. Or wait, this one. No, this one. Yes, this one, the um, Lost Soul one, which looking in the pan, it doesn't look like it has any glitter, but trust me, there's some glitter. Or maybe it's Bold Spirit. I don't know. One of these, it is that one. It's Bold Spirit. <laughs> one of these blushes, which I think is Bold Spirit, has a lot of glitter in it that I don't care for. But I really like the other two, and I love these highlighters. They last. <sighs> yep. <laughs> they last, like, all day, and they look really pretty on the skin. It is not my day, you guys. I am, like, dropping everything, breaking everything. It's great. This one, I'm not sure if it came out this year or not, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. That is the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Glow Kit. So freaking beautiful. I use this one more than any of the others, obviously, <laughs> Forever Lit, uh, because I like the icy highlights. I also really like these two, which are Kitty Cat and Forever Young. I don't like Daydream. I just don't like the color of it. It's probably really pretty on like a deeper skin tone, but on me, I don't like the way it looks. Glow Getter is pretty, and this one, 143, is too dark for me, unfortunately, so I don't really use that one. But I really like these four. Uh, I could do without these two, honestly. But I love this palette. This, for a long time, was my favorite highlight. Um, towards the beginning of the year, this is what I was using, and towards the end of the year, I was using the Pixie one. But I still really love this. I love Nicole, obviously. And yeah, so I think it's a great palette. You should for sure check it out, but I don't know. I don't think it's available anymore. But check like Poshmark or something, or um, what's that one called? Mercari. I have a, a link down below for my Mercari if you wanna check that out, which you can just, it's like a, a referral code and then you get like $10, I think, to spend on there. I don't get anything out of it. It's not like an affiliate or anything, but yeah, so. Next, what is left? Let's go ahead and talk eye products, like mascaras. Okay, so this one I have to mention, but you've seen it in probably every favorite. That's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is still my favorite mascara, but it's not what I'm wearing today, actually. But I love this mascara. It's great. It looks great. The brush is great. <laughs> it's great. But this is the brush. Um, it's very, like, voluminous and not wispy. What's that word? Voluminous. It's voluminous. And next one is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade. This one I do have a complaint about, but we'll talk about the good first. Um, first off, it's like six bucks, so win. The packaging is super, super cute. And it's like, it's my favorite, it's my favorite drugstore mascara, I would say. And I do really like it. It's very, very, very lengthening. It's not quite as voluminizing, but it gives your lashes like a really good length on it. But the only thing that I have a complaint about is you cannot like use this very long. Also the wand's cute. Um, it gets really weird once it starts to like set for a while. So I'd say probably like two months and then you're gonna have to get a new mascara. So that's kind of sucky, but I do really like this. This one I need to throw away and get a new one because it's kind of weird now. Um, next mascara, this is by Marc Jacobs. What is this called? Omega Lash. Um, this is a little baby guy because I'm going to be honest, it's expensive <laughs> and I don't want to spend that kind of money. But this good little guy, I love the brush. I love these like big um, bristly brushes. This one, it's not my favorite. I'm not going to lie. It's not my like absolute favorite mascara. But I do really, 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 really like it. It's very, um, it's voluminous. <laughs> Most mascaras that I like are voluminous mascaras. But this one isn't, like, as voluminous as the Too Faced one. But it's really good. This one would be, like, a great falsy mascara. Like, if you wore false lashes, this would be great to pair with that. I just don't wear false lashes. But I really love that mascara. Next mascara is the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. 
This is one that's obviously didn't come out this year, but I just tried it for the first time this year. Looks like this. It's super cute. Um, it's another, this one gives you a lot of length too, but it's also voluminous. I don't really care for it on the lower lash line. I don't really know why, but I don't really like it on the lower lash line because it kind of, like, it's not clumpy at all on the top lashes, but on my bottom lashes, it kind of gets a little clumpy. I don't know why. It's weird, but yeah, I put this on other people and it didn't clump on them at all, but just for some reason on my lower lash line, it clumps. And Moose Mascara that has, like, overtaken my life, which is what I'm wearing right now. And this is the Tarte, Tartiste, Tartist, however you say that, mascara. I freaking love this mascara. Like, this is a very, very, very close second to my Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, I love the length it gives. I love the volume that it gives. And I just really, really like this mascara. I'm not crazy about the brush because it's not, like, um... What are those called? It's not like the brush kind. It's like the silicone -y, stabby kind. <laughs> so I'm not crazy about the brush, but I love the formula. So great mascara. Okay, that's all for mascaras. Let's talk eyeliners. Okay, so I don't wear eyeliner too often, or black eyeliner. eyeliner. <laughs> I don't wear black eyeliner too often, but when I do, it's one of these. Um, this is the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Black Noir. This is like the silkiest eye pencil I've ever tried. I hate that it's a pencil though because I have to sharpen it. I don't want to. I'm lazy. But it's so great. It's so creamy. So silky. And you would think that that would mean that it's like going to slip all over the place. But it does not. It stays in place all day. And I love it. And it's super black. Like blacker than black. And this one is the Marc Jacobs Highliner. Is that what it's called? Yeah. In the shade black hooer yeah black here however you say that this again is a pencil but it's a roll up so I approve of that I need a new one of these this one's getting old yeah this one's getting real old I have another one but it's in my drawers and I didn't want to get it out so this one probably needs to go in the trash but it's also really black it's also really creamy and it looks like glides on it doesn't tug at your waterline it's not as black like the other one, when you see it, it looks silky. Like, it has a little bit of a shine to it. This is more matte, so whatever preference you have. Obviously, the Pixie one is cheaper, but yeah. Um, and next, this one I wear probably a lot more. This is the NYX Faux Black in the shade Black Olive. So, it's like a very, very dark green. And I have green eyes, obviously. So, I like putting this in the waterline because it kind of just, like, emphasizes the green. So, yeah, and I really like the NYX pencils. Again, this is a pencil that I'm going to have to sharpen. I hate sharpening things because I am lazy. But it looks like this, and yeah, I really like it. And then top eyeliner. Top eyeliner? No, <laughs> ink eyeliner. 99.9% .9 of the time, I am wearing the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I don't need to say more because you know about this product. But if I'm not wearing that, I'm wearing the Too Faced Sketch Marker in the shade Black. Looks like this. I actually use this for Halloween. Like, I did a lot of, like, drawing on my face and stuff, and I used this, and I really, really liked it. It lasted all day, and it was easier to take off than the Kat Von D one, I think. It, it still lasts, and, like, it's not going to smear or anything, but it's easier to take off with the makeup removal wipe. Okay. <sighs> this video is going to be an hour long, you guys. Um, the only eyeshadow primer that I've really been reaching for this year is by Milani, and it's this Milani eyeshadow primer in the shade 01 Nude. I don't know if there's other shades, but it says shade 01 Nude. It's a cheap option from the drugstore that works amazingly. I'm wearing it today. Love it. Okay. Eyebrows. Again, something I'm not going to spend too much time talking on because you've already seen this a million times. It is pretty much the only brow product I use. Uh, Bodyography Brow Trio in the shade Essential. I've been trying to like do my brows differently here lately. Like I'm not filling them in as much as I would normally do. So hopefully that looks better. But yeah. Check out any of my favorites and you'll see that product in it I'm sure. But an eyebrow gel that is like replaced my brow gal mascara or what? My brow gal eyebrow gel is this one by Tarte and it is the Tartist, Tartiste, whatever brow gel. I freaking love this stuff. Like it gives like almost like hair-like strokes. 
which is just a gel, so I don't understand. But I think it's the brush, honestly, because it's so small that you have to, like, brush in sections. So it gives, like, hair-like strokes, and I really, 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 really like it, obviously. Okay, so we're almost done. Not really, but we're going to pretend. Eyeshadow palettes. The first one is Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean collaboration. I love this. I loved this collaboration. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. I love Lorac Shadows. Put them together. Great. So here they are. Lorac Shadows are, why do I keep saying Shadows? Lorac Shadows are really, really um, powdery, if you didn't know. But these are still really beautiful. They're so creamy. They're so blendable. Like You can't get over how blendable they are. But there is a lot of kickback, a lot of fallout with Lorac shadows. So if that's something you don't like, <laughs> like me saying shadows, then uh, you're probably not going to like these. But I love them. I don't mind fallout because every shadow has some fallout. And if it doesn't, then it's usually too hard and doesn't blend well. But yeah, these are beautiful. I really love that red, which is treasure. And I love this green, which is salt called sea haze. But yeah, great palette. I don't think you can get it anymore. So... Sorry about that. Next one is also by Lorac, and this is the Beauty and the Beast palette. These both did come out this year, I'm 99% sure. And this one looks like this. Um, I like the shades in the other one a lot better, but I still really like these. Like this blue, which is called Beast Mode. Yeah, Beast Mode. It's still really pretty, and I really love these rosy shades for like a normal everyday look. But yeah, this palette's probably blinding you. <laughs> and then it has a really pretty mirror on the other side. I just stuck my finger in three different eyeshadows somehow, so that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really like Lorac's formula. These are unfortunately the only two Lorac palettes I own. I do want to get some more, so you guys should leave me like suggestions of which ones I should get. I've been thinking of like the unzipped palettes or those new like sunset palettes or whatever they're called. I just don't know which ones to get because my palette collection is a little ridiculous. Okay, next. This is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette. We got this in a boxy charm, and it's so freaking cute. I love cats, first off, so A, points for packaging and name. But seriously, these shadows are really, really pretty, too. Like, I've obviously used this gold one a lot, and that blue one, and these purple, too. Um, this is a good transition shade. Um, that one's okay. I used this one to set. I haven't really played with that one, I'm not going to lie. But these five right here, I love this one. I'm not crazy about these five. Actually, these six. These six I love. This one's really good to set everything. And I haven't... Ooh, flipping you off again. I haven't really used that one at all, so... Great palette. I really think this would be a great beginner palette because it's really easy to blend and it's not, like, super, super intense pigmentation. So you have to, like, build it up. So great for beginners. What I'm wearing on my eyes today... Actually, all of the shadows are from this palette and that is the Too Faced... I want candy palette um, again sticking with the youtuber thing I do love supporting other youtubers and I love candy Johnson she's probably one of my favorites so <laughs> I was really excited about this and honestly looking at this I didn't have like terribly high hopes for it I was just kind of like eh, it's candy I'm gonna buy it anyway but I love this like this quad right here is my go-to look like Anytime I'm like, I'm in a rut today, I need to hurry, I don't know what I want to do, this is what I go for, is these three shades right here. The black, not so much, but these three, and then I usually smoke it out with that one in the outer corner. But I love this shade. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow shades ever. It's so pretty. Let's watch that for you. Yeah, just like so stunning. What I'm wearing today, I have on this shade, I have on all four of these, and this one on my eyes. So yeah. Love this. I don't know if this is still available, but if it is, for sure, worth checking out. And then on the back, it just looks like a little candy um, box, so that's cute. Um, this one is Pure Trolls Palette. I can't remember if this came out this year or not, but I really love this palette. It's super, like, basic looking. Like, you look at it, and you're just kind of like, I have five of those palettes. But seriously, there is something about this formula, which is weird because... The My Little Pony palette, which looks very similar to this, I didn't care for it all. I didn't like that palette, I'm not going to lie. But for some reason, this one, I freaking love. That pink is amazing. This color is amazing. This whole row, I love. This I love, I love, I love. I have a video, I think. 
dedicated to this palette. You guys should check it out because I made a really pretty look if I do say so myself. And then in my, um, what video is that? I don't remember. I'm wearing this palette in some video. If I can find it, I'll link it below. I love this. I made a really pretty colorful look with this one. So Next, this palette I for sure have had probably way too long, but this is the Lime Crime Venus palette. I love this palette. Like, mainly these colors are so like every other palette, but for some reason this one is just like holds a special place in my heart. This is my favorite transition shade of all time. It's called Divine. Um, anytime I want to do a cool toned or like a neutral tone uh, eye, I reach for this palette and reach for this shade because it's seriously my favorite transition shade ever. It's just like so neutral but boarding on cool tones that you can just get away with it for every look. So I love that. Like look at those two together. That's so pretty. But those shadows are also very, very buttery. And I know there's like drama with Lime Crime. I don't know the drama, honestly, because that was before I got into makeup. But I really like the palette. My hair is driving me nuts today. Okay, next, this little quad right here. This is the Katie X Desi X Dose of Colors palette. Um, these shades are really pretty. I don't reach for this one quite as often as I should just because... I like having the full palette just, just as a convenience thing. Like, I, when I reach for this, I obviously have to pull from another palette. You can't make a complete look with these four. I suppose you probably could, but I like to have a matte shadow in my look. But yeah, these are super, super pretty. These two are my favorite. I love this purple, and I really like this green, too. Um, these are meant to be worn wet, but even without being wet, they're still really, really pretty. So I do really like this. The formulation is kind of weird. Like, it's not something I was used to. So if you're not, like, super into makeup, it's not going to be something you're used to either, probably. But for real, give them a try because they're really good. Next is the Too Faced... Nope. The Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. It looks like this. Super pretty. I also have an entire video dedicated to this palette, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. I just really love it. It smells really good, too. And the packaging is super cute. So, yeah, check this one out for sure. I also really like this transition shade. It's very similar to the one in the Lime Crime palette. But the rest of these are all metallic shades. I don't really care for this um, highlight. It's kind of meh. But the rest of them, I love. So, check this palette out. Check that video out. Check it all out. Next, we've got some Too Faced palettes. I've got three of them. That is the Clover palette, the Melted Chocolate palette, and the Sweet Peach palette. I also have dedicated videos for both of these. Well, this one is a, like, trying new products video. I've tried my makeup um, mermaid brushes and this all in one. So check that out for sure. I love, 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 love this palette. The packaging is A, beautiful. And they're all, oh, it smells so good. They're all metallic except for one, two, three, and four. The rest of them are foiled shadows. So they are different from like a regular metallic shadow because they have that foil aspect, which so they're better applied with your finger. Look, look at that. So freaking pretty. But you definitely have to use a wet brush or your finger with these, but they're stunning. Like seriously, this is probably one of the best palettes of 2017 in my opinion. Um, the Clover palette, I really like this palette too. I feel like this palette was extremely underrated. Um, you for sure have to check out my video dedicated to this because I loved this. I like every single color that I've tried in here and the packaging is adorable. Like it's very, very child-esque, but I love it still. So for sure check out that video, check out this palette. It's great. It doesn't have a scent though, which was weird for Too Faced palettes because I feel like they all have scents. And the last one is the Sweet Peach palette. This is probably my least favorite of the three. Shocker, right? But yeah, smells so good. I don't really need to talk about this because this palette went viral like a year ago. So there's that. I love it. Getting close to the end of palettes. The next one is by Blink, and this came in the Boxy Charm. It's the Electric Eyes palette. Um, it's so cute. I. I mainly reach for this for this red color, I'm not going to lie. Like, this is what I use this palette for. But they're super, super buttery. They're kind of crumbly, but not too bad. Like, I'd recommend using some um, setting powder under your eyes if you're going to use this palette. But I love it. Check it out for sure. Two more. Next one, Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajamas. A. 
great, or what? Words. <laughs> a plus for the name, first off. Second off, look at these colors. Um, I These all four kind of look very similar in the pan, but swash, they're all very different. So I love it. The packaging is my favorite packaging, I think, of any eyeshadow palette ever. Like, this does not do this justice. Like, you can seriously just sit here and just be like all day <laughs> staring at this thing but this is a great 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 beginner eyeshadow palette because the shadows are so easy to use so blendable so pigmented but not like too pigmented where you're gonna be like oh screwed up but I really love this and I love Laura's channel so great and last but definitely not least is my favorite palette of 2017 and my favorite palette of all time and that is the Chuck on Hill Morphe palette I love this palette because a, it has so many options, so many different looks you can come up with this. Uh, this has every color you probably ever need in your life. And it's pretty affordable. I think it's like $30, something around there, for all these shades. The only thing I wish it had is a mirror. Like, if this had a mirror, I would travel with it. But it's beautiful. It's pigmented. You know all about this palette, so I don't need to talk about it too much. But it is my fave. All right lips and then we're done oh my gosh this video is 40 minutes long already okay so let's talk chapsticks first just because who cares um wet and wild pout and kiss and palmer's cocoa butter formula these are the two chapsticks i wear all the time I'm wearing this one today all we're gonna say about that uh lip scrub i have been loving the seraphine and botanicals orange and cream lip polish a it smells so freaking good Oh, it smells like creamsicles and it's like gentle but it gets the job done like it's not so gritty that you feel like your lips are gonna burn afterwards but it's gritty enough to get all the dead skin off so love 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 um these two little lip oil things what are these called yeah lip treatments they're by milani the moisture lock i have two of them i want the other ones this one is the uh lemon oil and this one is the peach seed oil I love both of these. I like the peach one better, but I like to wear these at night when I'm going to bed just so they have like nourishment overnight. Um, lipsticks. First two are by ColourPop, and these are Lumiere and Taurus, which are both by Kathleen Lights. Lumiere is my favorite of the two. It's just really pretty neutral shade, and I love it. And then this one is Taurus, which is brown. This is the only brown lip that you will ever see me in probably because it's the only one I like. I don't really like brown lips. I miss that trend in the 90s, but I I just don't, I'm not a fan, but I love that one for some reason. And the Lumiere is obviously beautiful. I love the lippy sticks, but I can't find like any of my lippy sticks except those two. So there's that. And next, I feel like these deserve a moment for themselves. These are the Bite Beauty, I think they're Amuse Bouge, is that what they're called? I don't know. <laughs> Lipsticks. Um, the, I have the Luminous one. I have four of those, and I have two of the, what are these called? Buttercream. I'm wearing one of the Buttercreams now. I'm wearing, this is Heather. It's like this. I am wearing, what is this called? Cream. It looks like this. I hate the shape of these because they're so awkward and bigger than my lips, but... They're super moisturizing. They last quite a good amount of time for a lipstick. And they're very, like, shiny and make your lips just look healthy. So I really like them. And then the luminous ones are just as good. They're just different looking. This one is a bright pink. It's called Vital. I don't really wear a lot of lipsticks, not going to lie. I usually reach for liquid lips just because I like to have them last all day. But if I'm wearing a lipstick, it's either the ColourPop Lippy Sticks or it's these. <laughs> Um, this one is tannin. Looks like that. When I think of tannin, I think of like a like a tan color, but I think tannin is a fruit, maybe. This one's called Niz. And what are you called? Vento. Looks like that. I want to get so many more of these, like every color. Okay. Next, red lips. I have three red lips that I reached for, or that I reached for over the year. I don't really know if I can even count this one because I got it in December on Christmas, <laughs> so I haven't been wearing it very often, but I love it. It's the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lip in the shade 22. I didn't bring the lip liner over here, which I should have, but I freaking love this. Like, 
these do not move. <laughs> um, if you've seen anybody do like multiple lip swatch videos of Kylie Cosmetics liquid lips, kudos to them because this seriously dries your lips out. Like not in like a your lips are dry and crusty kind of way, but in like a it's not coming off your lips kind of way. It's really hard to remove actually, but it lasts all day. It looks beautiful from start to finish. It doesn't like crumble off weirdly. It's just really, really pretty and I love it. I want to get more shades. Um, the next one is the Dose of Colors Katie and Desi collab in the shade Hot Fire. It looks like this. This one is if you want like va va boom bright red. That's what you'd reach for for this. That's the only time I wear it is when I want like a power statement red. And it smells so good. And then the last one which is probably the red that I wear the most is Lady Balls by Too Faced. I love this red. Most of the time if I'm doing a video and I have a red lip it's probably this one. Next is this one. Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Nudie Patootie. I have two more Liquid Catsuits but I didn't bring them over here. I freaking love the Liquid Catsuits. They are amazing. They last so long and they're beautiful. And they're like six bucks. Everything that I've talked about today, I'm like, it's like six bucks. I think that's five actually, but still. Um, next is the, what are these called? Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collaboration. And this one's I'm Shook and this one's Daddy. I hate the name, first of all but I freaking love this. This is my go-to nude lip, this and Nudie Patootie. So I love those, they really last so long. Okay, these need a moment for themselves too because I have so many of them and I love every single one of them. And that is the ColourPop Liquid Lips. These are so inexpensive and so beautiful. Like I have all of these. I have more somewhere, I'm pretty sure. But I love these. They're like the best cheap liquid lips ever. They're six bucks, <laughs> shocker there. And they last all day. They don't hurt your lips, they don't dry your lips. They're not, there's other liquid lips that are more comfortable than those, but they still feel amazing. And last, but certainly not least, my absolute favorite liquid lip, absolute favorite lip ever is by Stila. And this is in the shade, what are you called? I forgot, Perla. Looks like this, I wear this all the time. This is probably my most reached for lip, liquid lip ever. It's beautiful, it lasts all day, it doesn't hurt your lips. It dries down, but not like completely. Like it still can transfer a little bit, but not terribly. And it just, it literally lasts all day. It stays all day, <laughs> it's the name, stay all day. But yeah, they're beautiful. I love them. That was my 2017 favorites. I hope this did not bore the crap out of you because it's a very long video. So if you stuck with me to the end, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future favorites. And hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload. Bye guys.